Emma Nelson, um, we're here at Natural Practices today and I'm going to talk you through um, some of the benefits of dry skin brushing or body brushing as it's also known. So some of you may have already seen one of these brushes. So this is a dry skin brush and it comes with a long handle uh, which you can detach so that you can use this bit in the palm of your hand to skin brush up, up the body and then when you're, using, when you're skin brushing down the back you can pop the handle on. Um, so it's made of a natural fibre. The bristles are quite are quite harsh, um, but it's good because they need to be quite firm to get the lymph moving and to get the circulation going through the body. So make sure that you choose one that's got natural fibres rather than synthetic. Um, if you choose a synthetic brush, it can cause static electricity in the body, which is not great. The benefits of skin brushing. Um, just that they, it really energises the body, it helps to really boost the lymph, boost the circulation. Um, the skin is the largest organ in the body and so it's really important that you keep it clean and clear um, and unblocked basically so that the toxins from your body can be released through the skin. So you can, you, you can um, lose quite a few pounds of, of toxins and waste just through sweating alone so it's really important that all the pores are unblocked. Um, and that your lymph nodes are not congested. Um, so skin brushing will really help uh, to, to do that and to unblock it. Your main lymph nodes um, are kind of found behind back to the knees, inner elbows, on the sides of the throat here, clavicle. Okay, so they'd be areas that you'd concentrate on, on the brushing. We start from the feet. So you, you take my shoes off, you can see. So we'd start with the brush, the palm of your hand, and you'd sweep up the feet here. So you brush quite firmly, quite briskly, it is quite, it qu is quite firm, the brushes. So sweeping up, probably about seven to ten sweeps up the feet here, down the backs of the soles of the feet from the toes to the heel. So you'd sweep down there. And then you'd come gradually up, always towards the heart, so that you're boosting the circulation upwards. So you, you sweep up the legs, obviously you, you do this um, with no clothes on. <laughs> so you sweep up, sweep up, sweep up the legs really quickly. It should only take about five minutes, the whole body. Concentrating on the backs of the knees here, where the lymph nodes are, uh, are populated around here, all the way up. Usually pay particular attention around the thighs, around the bum. Really great for, for moving the lymph, for clearing the lymph and helping to break down fatty deposits. So for example, cellulite around the, the thighs and the bum. So we move that all the way up, all the way up the back here. Do the same on the inner leg as well, inside the thigh, the groin as well, where the, where the lymph nodes are, are there as well. So the abdomen, you go around in a clockwise direction. So you sweep up, quite briskly, up and across, following the line of the colon. So that just helps move the digestive system along as well. So up, do that a few times. We do the arms. So with the arms, you do the inner palms, sweep, 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 so about seven to ten times. Backs, backs the hands, once you've done the hands, further up the arms. So it's basically the same, sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. Pay particular attention to the inner arms here. Sweep, 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 all the way up, back to the elbows. When you get to the arms here, I find it helpful to, to bend the arm up and just sweep down. So again, this is another area, backs of the arms, that really helpful to, to skin brush and break down that, that, the fatty deposits. When you get to the clavicle, the chest, you sweep across. Across, 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 right up here, and then again for the back. You put. I sometimes do, sometimes don't. So you'd sweep. You're sweeping down, down here, and across the shoulders. You, if you can get into kind of the back here, back to the ears, down the shoulders. It's quite hard with when you clothes. Down the shoulders, and again up the back. So always towards the heart. So. So that's it in a nutshell to, to do before you jump in the shower. It's, it's best to do it before the shower because it can obviously, you need to get rid of all the dead skin. So it leaves your skin really lovely and smooth. Um, when you're in the shower, the best thing to do is alternate the water from hot to cold, which also further stimulates the lymphatic system there. If you can finish your shower with a cold blast of water, that's really, really great as well. Bit of a shock to the system, but you will feel really boosted and energized afterwards. The research has shown that just five minutes of energetic skin brushing equates to the same um, amount of muscle tone that you get from 30 minutes jogging. So, who wouldn't spend five minutes doing it? It's brilliant. It really is great. Give it a go. To look after your body brush, um, you have to clean, uh, just wash it with natural soap. Don't share your body brush with anybody. 
um, or you can use a tea tree oil, just dilute some tea tree oil, some water and wash it and just leave it to dry naturally. Mm -hmm.